Hello and welcome everyone, I am Maddles and welcome to game 2 of this best of 3. It is between Nirvana, the purple Protoss player in the lower right position, he's up against Daishi, the yellow Terran in the top left and, well, obviously being game 2, we have seen a very, very fun game 1. If you don't know what happened because you didn't watch it then I do suggest you flick over to my channel and find it. However, if you don't want to do that and you just want to give it away, well, let me tell you, of course, game 1 went to Daishi with an epic attack. It was just so good. Um, but yeah, Ahana is map 2. There is the supply depot down here. That's pretty much the only difference to the ladder version of it. And yeah, I reckon we're going to see a fast expansion out of Daishi or One Racks Command Center. Almost certain Nirvana, I reckon One Gate Nexus. They did it in game 1, it worked well for them. This map, super safe to do it on, quite a narrow ramp. So everything is where you would like. And yeah, I'm, I'm really feeling confident with how these two will go. I think Nirvana. After game one, seeing the sort of timing, seeing the fact that Daisy got that Marine Ward and Medevac build up very, very quickly, may tech slightly harder. That would be my personal feelings towards it. The basically the reason that he lost Nirvana game is that he just didn't have enough units, enough area effect units on the field, so Colossi or High Templar. I reckon he's gonna try and combat that by teching slightly quicker, taking his second gas slightly quicker in order to try and make that work for him. Daishi, I just do what I did game one. Game 1 I, I played very well, I did very well, a little bit of early aggression worked, then the follow up worked and generally I was in no point too concerned about what was happening. Took a little bit of damage on my natural base but eh, it'll all be fine. But anyway the gas on its way down for both players, that's a much earlier gas at the moment for Daisy. so I'm be interested to see how that's used of course. There is some dead space here so blink stalkers can be utilised with the observer of course. Some dead space as well, warp um, drops can be quite effective coming into the Protoss base, so we'll wait and see what happens, the probe does manage to get in, we'll see the gas, that's some important scouting information there, because that really says that it's not going to be a one max command center build, just because the gas is down, the probe gets trapped inside though, so that's going to die as soon as the marine comes out, the cyber core on its way down, and now Nirvana has a choice, now obviously seeing the one gas says, hey, I could take my expansion quicker again economically, but no, going for the second gas quite considerably quicker, so Definitely going to be a fast attack play. The Marine kiting back that probe, killing it off. The second gas now for Daisy. So both players going f for one base for a long, long time. Now we do have the factory coming down. So we have got lots of different options available to Daisy right now. Lots of very, very cool things. Everything from 111s with some medevacs to go and drop into the main to, well, some Hellions. Get them out, drop them in, elevate to play them up on the cliff, and then laugh as the fact that you kill all those probes. But Nirvana. Getting up the pylon, now having the two gas obviously means, hey, I'm taking up, it's not going to be a 4k, we can deduce that much straight away. The bunker coming up at the front here for Daishi, now, obviously the reason this bunker is important is now if the Protoss player comes up, obviously we'll see the bunker and we'll assume that the natural is down just a bit later than normal due to the one gas and it's a bit of pressure. What's this, a Stargate? Is that a proxy Stargate? Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness, I haven't seen this done in a game for so long. I secretly absolutely adore Proxy Stargates. I think the only thing that would make me happier than a Proxy Stargate would be a Proxy Dark Shrine to hide the tech. That would just be awesome, but no, I haven't seen this play for so long. It could be really, really effective. The reactor coming down, the tech lab coming down. We should see the switch here, so we could see some Banshee out. And um, yeah, I'm excited, guys. Are you excited? You should be. What are we going to have going down? There's the lift. There's the switch going to go. Obviously the Stargate. And of course if you go Banshee against this proxy Stargate, you're going to lose. And oh, if Daisy wins this, this will be so good. But of course he can still do it. It's not. It's definitely not all over. That's for sure. There's. Uh, if you get a good number of Marines out, you make sure you get some good scouting. The Stargate's still not doing anything. Needs to go. There we go. Voidway coming down. Of course the reactor's done though. So the Marine numbers are going to start creeping high. Cloak coming down as well. So Cloak Banshee are going to come and do some uh, harassment against the Protoss. As long as this air th threat is dealt with effectively, Daishi is going to be in an amazing position to deal with this. But of course Banshees, if the Voidway spots them, are going to die a horrible death due to the fact they can only shoot ground units. Now obviously the Stalker pushing up. The second Stalker on its way as well. Forward pylon coming down here, Nirvana. Nirvana, this is going to be fun. Daishi, this is going to be fun. I am so excited. There we go. We've got the tech lab coming down on the factory as well. Are you guys excited? I'm excited. This is tense. The stalkers, the stalkers are about to take some damage from the probes. A tank coming out. Oh my goodness. This is so good, guys. Oh, here comes the voidway. The second voidway kind of boosting out as well. So seriously, guys, this is starting to get pretty tense. The cloak. 
half done. The first Banshee on its way through. It's not going to get scouted. We've got some warpins coming down. In terms of the gateways, there's only three gates there, so just a couple of warpins each time. The Voidway on its way over. The second Voidway there. Nothing else coming out of that Stargate quite yet. Is there enough here to defend? Salvage goes down. I don't know if that was spotted or... If we take a look, no, nothing's been spotted, so basically just pulling out the rocks at the back, getting taken down, being used to charge up those voidways ASAP. Could have put them over here to start charging them up, but ready just to go and have a look in. What are we going to see there? Just doing a little bit of Sutter Step Micro, trying to keep those voidways charged, but, well... Here we go. Meanwhile, the Banshee on its way through. Cloak is done. It's going straight in here, but there's nothing to defend. Here comes the push of the front. The Supply Depot getting taken down very, very quickly indeed. Siege mode on the way down for tanks, but, well, Daishi's going to have to get a good defense. ASAP needs to pick off those Voidways very, very quickly. The Marines taking quite a bit of damage. The tank gets instantly taken down. That single Cloak Banshee is going to start picking away at everything. Picks off that end sentry. Meanwhile, the Banshee back at Nirvana's base doing good damage. The barrack goes down. This is basically one base v one base. Whoever takes the most economic damage is going to be in the worst spot. The SCV is taking out the Zealot as well. One Voidway goes down. The second Voidway taking a lot of damage. If it falls, pretty much everything's going to be fine for the Terran. Well, the sentry falls. The Stalker is about to go down too. The Banshee could get uh, taken out fairly soon. More Stalkers on their way through. Those Marines need to be careful. They're just running away. That one Voidway with 14 HP. This is tough times. Meanwhile, though, the Banshee dealing so much damage back at home. This is getting pretty tough. Of course, the Marine numbers are a lot lower because, of course, the Barracks is not on a reactor. Now, all the SUVs getting pulled down. This is pretty tense now. Guys, this is getting seriously tense. It's tough to tell who's winning. The Viking, obviously, out that shut it down. But, of course, two, set, two Stalkers, one Zealot. The Marine numbers trying to get up a bit high. The Banshee there as well. And with the Banshee's help, this could be okay. There goes down the lovely, the incredible cloak. That, of course, means those Stalkers are shut down hard. Now the SCV's coming around, trying to pick off anything they can. Meanwhile, though, where's the Banshee up here? Has it been killed? It must have been killed. No, it's just running around up here, coming to find a Stalker. Going to try and pick this off. And this is pretty hectic. The work count is 6 to 13, Nirvana should hypothetically have the advantage here. But, of course, the army supply, 17 to 2. The Banshee's on its way over. The Probe on its way over. The SCV's mining away. Nice little attack force here. This is pretty hectic, guys. This is this is really getting stressful. The army value for Nirvana doubled up now, of course, with the second Stalker out. But, well, more Probes are going to get taken down with the Cloak. This Banshee is just oh so strong. No way to get detection on it. And, well, just so much damage going down here. Of course, more and more Probes getting taken out. Great little use there, bringing the Probe into the gas to basically stop the AI automatically attacking it. Will survive momentarily longer. Does get picked off now, though. This Banshee has really paid for itself. 16 kills. Uh, Nirvana, of course, creeping ever lower in terms of the work account. And Daishi creeping ever, ever higher. 5 to 9 now. And obviously with the massive army lead for Daishi, he should be pretty safe. The Viking even landed. Just chilling there. The tank does have siege mode. But the GG comes down knowing he can't come back. And Daishi takes this series 2 and 0. Oh, and well, I really enjoyed that game. 1 base v 1 base is always fun to watch. I hope you enjoyed it as well. Now if you did, please like the video. Please subscribe, leave a cool comment. And yeah, I will catch you guys for yet another new cast tomorrow. Thank you very much for watching and bye for now.